For those of you who work in regulated environments, the audit rail itself is nothing new. What is new is a requirement that the computer must electronically record the audit rail. And the audit rail must be independent from the operator. Audit trails are required whenever records are created, modified and deleted. They must be recorded by the computer and be independent from the operator. Audit trails should include who created, modified or deleted a record, what was done and when it was done. For some predicate rules, the reason for the change should be entered. Whenever a set of new results is generated, the original data or any previously calculated result must not be overridden. An audit trail in the context of Part 11 is probably the function that the majority of systems do not have today. Most of the time there is simply no audit trail. For example, commercial office applications such as spreadsheets do not have an audit trail generated by the computer. Another problem is that all intermediate results are not recorded. An example from chromatography is reintegration of chromatograms. In one of the 483s we found a comment that it was not possible to determine how many times a chromatogram has been integrated. One other comment was that previously recorded information had been overwritten. Most systems lack an appropriate audit trail. Therefore, it is recommended to work with software vendors to build in this functionality. Another recommendation is not to sign an audit trail. The danger is that if a person can sign an audit trail, it is also possible to change or delete part of that audit trail. If you work in a GLP environment, you should enter a reason for the change. Again, this is a software issue. The Agilent CampStation security software has an entry field for the reason, but you can type just NA for not applicable if the predicate rule does not require a reason. Finally, we recommend to include an audit trail function in your requirement and functional specifications list when you purchase a new system.